CT saturation is one of the most complex topics in protective relaying. Despite the use of modern relays with low burdens, the problem of what size to make a CT still remains, especially due to the increased short circuit power. Based on an actual event, the following explanation describes the theoretical background and methods for analyzing the CT behavior. It also explains what has to be considered in order to set the differential protection system properly. The trip characteristic of a transformer differential protection, which is defined in the differential restraint area, is mainly determined by differential currents resulting from specific circumstances under normal operation. Particularly, the magnetizing current and the tap changer are the significant influences within the load area. In case of heavy through faults, the impact of CT saturation is taken into account by increasing the rise of the characteristic. While the effect of the first two differential currents can be calculated easily, the setting in the area of high stabilizing currents is difficult due to the non-sinusoidal behavior. Therefore, it is mainly based on experience. Many numerical relays are nowadays supplied with additional saturation detectors. These circumstances were experienced by the Bewag utility in Berlin when providing the Institut Prüfeld für Elektrische Hochleistungstechnik GmbH in the city with an additional powerful infeed via the new 400 kV Marzahn substation. At the Institut Prüfeld für Elektrische Hochleistungstechnik GmbH, switchgears, transformers, disconnectors and circuit breakers are subjected to type tests where as well as simple short circuits, auto reclosing or thunderstorm cycles can also be simulated. The infeed transformer has a nominal power of 230 MVA and is supplied with two reconnectable secondary windings of 7.2 and 12.5 kV. Omicron was assigned the task to verify the protection stability. Basically, the solution was concentrated on the following aspects. CT parameter determination. Transient signal generation. Multiple transient CT simulation. Relay offline simulation and setting. Relay testing by transient playback. In order to form a basis for further discussions, we will first consider the conventional CT in more detail. For the mathematical description of CTs with iron core, the model shown here is normally used. It consists of the leakage inductance, the winding resistance, the connected burden, and the CT inductance. According to Kirchhoff's law, at the red node, the secondary current is merely the image of the primary current distorted by the magnetizing current. The secondary current is of special interest for us because it flows through the relay. It can be calculated via the mesh M and Kirchhoff's law. Special attention has to be paid to the magnetizing inductance. When having a closer look at this quantity, it becomes obvious that it is a non-linear element due to the magnetic behavior of the iron core, known as the hysteresis loop. Remnants, non-saturated and saturated magnetizing inductance are characteristic parameters which are often only available with difficulty. Because of this, the following procedure for direct measurement via relay test equipment was developed. A sinusoidal voltage is connected to the secondary transformer terminal. The primary test system, CPC100, designed particularly for CT and VT testing, is ideal for this. The non-sinusoidal current and the voltage are measured by the CMC256 via its analog inputs. When overlapping the magnetic flux derived from the voltage via integration and the measured magnetizing current point by point, the hysteresis loop for a specific voltage is obtained. By increasing the voltage until distinct saturation, the saturation hysteresis loop can be measured. For this, voltages up to 2000 volts are required. 
The CPC-100 contains a wide range of functions, such as measuring the CT and VT ratios, winding resistance, burden, magnetizing characteristic, and contact resistance. All of this heavy-duty functionality is in a relatively lightweight package. Please note that the CT must not be short-circuited on the primary side while these tests are carried out. With the relay test set CMC256 and a specifically developed software using the CM engine interface, the hysteresis loop is oscillated online. Based on the measured hysteresis loop and the other CT parameters already mentioned, a short circuit with 156 kiloamps was simulated first of all. In the result of the relay offline simulation, the locus of the differential and the stabilizing current remain in the stabilizing area, for example, below the tripping characteristic, despite the heavily saturated current, so that stability is provided. Remnants, the ability to store magnetic energy, plays a role not to be neglected, especially with regard to auto-reclosing. As shown in the figure, a short circuit current of 14 kiloamps with the first fault does not lead to CT saturation. With the unsuccessful reclosure, the CT is saturated due to remnants. If the relay behavior is also examined offline at reclosure, the simulation shows that the stabilizing characteristic is exceeded in the second area due to smaller stabilizing currents and considerably lower rise. Consequently, tripping of the differential protection is to be expected. Therefore, the iron cord CT does not meet the requirements for this specific application if it is supposed that the tripping characteristic cannot be set to be less sensitive. Making use of an anti-remanence core or linear characteristic CTs with air gaps, respectively, was discussed as a possible solution to this subject. With regard to this special application, the theoretical calculations, particularly with consideration of the thermal stress caused by the tests, were to be confirmed. For this, the designed current transformers were installed in the laboratory of the Institut Prüfeln für Elektrische Hochleistungstechnik GmbH. The necessary short circuit currents can be adjusted automatically in amplitude, phase angle, and DC offset by coils and resistances controlled from remote via PC. Let's concentrate on a short circuit test with 156 kiloamps for one second. For the evaluation of the behavior, the currents and the reaction of the relay were additionally observed using the CMC256 with its analog measurement capability at a sampling frequency of 28 kilohertz. Let's consider the curves in detail by applying the software module Analyzer. As indicated by the comparison of reference signal and test object, the anti-remanence core does not show any sign of saturation, even with an auto-reclosure at 100 kiloamps, as was expected. If the measured saturated current of the iron cord CT and the current calculated theoretically from the hysteresis measurement are analyzed, an excellent correlation can be ascertained. Thus, the suitability of this model can be proven. Should the algorithms of the protection relays not be known sufficiently and therefore offline simulation cannot be performed, the test is affected with the theoretically calculated signals by means of the secondary test set CMC256 and by transient data output. As a conclusion to the explanation presented, the following essential findings can be highlighted. The operating characteristic is not sufficient on its own to prevent tripping due to CT saturation. Saturation detectors should not only be focused on high restraint currents. If the relay algorithm is based on the fundamental frequency of the differential current, applying TPX and TPZ cores at both ends does not create any difficulties and allows sensitive setting. 
Omicron provides solutions for analyzing and testing such complex situations. 